Hello dear students, how are you? I hope you all are safe at home. Dear students, today I will teach you chapter 6 of history. The name of the chapter is Towns, Traders and Crop. Right, dear students, we have, as we have read in previous chapter about the patronage of art and architecture. This art and architecture resulted in establishment of new cities and towns. Each city had its own political and economic policies and thriving markets. Right. In this chapter, we will read about the trade and towns of medieval India. Right. During the medieval period, different types of urban centers were there. Right, emerged under various kingdoms. These urban towns were function specific, specific and ranged from political and poor towns. Towns were formed by the patronage from rulers and administration of kingdoms was carried right, from the administrative capitals right and depending on the chief activities of the medieval cities they were divided into different categories categories you can see in your book is also there cities were divided into different type of categories according to work so first was capital or administrative towns they were delhi kannauj poor towns Surat, Goa, pilgrimage town, Varanasi, Ajmer and Haridwar also, right? Founded town, Tuglagabad, Murshidabad and Faridabad also. These are only examples, right? But more are there, right? Trading towns, Lahore, Majuli, Patnam, right? Now, first of all, we will talk about administrative or capital towns. Right? Administrative towns were the political capitals of the kingdoms. During medieval period, six cities were formed in Delhi for the running of administration. Which were Delhi? For the running of administration, which were Delhi? Agra, Fatehpur Sikri and Lahore were the cities of the Mughal. Who were the administrative? That time Mughals. Right. They were, they were doing administration from these cities. Right. Cities were developed around water bodies like Delhi near Jamuna and were fortified for the purpose of defense. The increase of population in cities resulted in movement of people and evaluation of uh, common culture. Kannos, Tanzor, Madurai, etc. Right. Were the, these were the other administrative uh, towns of medieval India. The administrative towns of India had busting market. What is the specific reason of these cities to become an administration, uh, administrative cities? They have busting market like in Delhi, Sadar Bazaar is there, uh, Khari Bauli is there, uh, Chandani Chowk is there, many famous market, world famous market is there from all over the world uh, trading is going on till now, right? Religious places and other like Jandewala Mother Mandir, like Mazar, many Jama Masjid is there in Delhi. You know, Delhi example is the best example of this kind of. Even today also, Delhi is the administrative city of India. Right? And other places also. Tourism places, we can say. Bahai Temple is there, Red Fort is there, and many gardens are there. Right? Now about pilgrimage towns, right? The pilgrimage or 
religious towns religious towns were established due to the various uh, due to the constructions of temples and shrines at various places means somewhere temple is as constructed and a famous temple like minakshi temple is there akshardham temple is there in delhi and uh, many more temples are there you know chamunda devi jwala ji and many masjids are there many churches are there right the religious and because of that only that city becomes famous right and people goes there the religious centers attract pilgrims uh, pilgrims from various places who needed residences for rest and because of this which which business this type of business and there is hotel business and right? guest house this type of business when we go anywhere when we go to haridwar where we live there we have house there no we live in a hotel or any dharmshala any guest house like this okay gradually these sites develop into towns as various trading activities started for fulfilling the needs of pilgrim pilgrims right the requirement of craft people temple priests protectors of religious shrines etc appeared which resulted in town settlement around these religious places like haridwar is there alabad mathura varanasi kurukshetra dwarika rameshwaram ajmer etc were very popular in ancient time even today also hai na today people visit these town in a large number during a spacious uh, periods and festivals right now about trading towns these towns were small and had their own markets which served the need of its residents manda mandapika was the place where people assembled to sell their products means one place was there people collect there to sell their things later hattas were there what was that means this is steels with line means one shop another shop then another then another means line and shop many shops you know line came into existence like chandni chowk is there was the trading town in the city of shahjana ba built by jahana begum who was the daughter of shah jahan other inland trading towns emerged on the trading trade routes right among them were banaras banarasi sarees are there banarasi silk is there hai na they trade mathura is there trade with other countries they trade with other countries was also established new trade routes were developed when attackers came to india which you which routes they use and those route only used for trading also sometimes got as um, some towns got established due to the production of raw material from those areas for example kanchipuram patna ahmedabad and banaras etc the after the arrival after the arrival of turks new sea routes also established means they came here for looting which way they use people use uh, to come in india people use those routes for trading also right travelers like marco polo uh, of italy and even batuta of morocco visited india and wrote detailed accounts 
attesting the presence of thriving Indian trade with the outside world. Right now about port towns. Port towns were port towns means port towns means the towns near the sea for trading from one country to another. Right, Surat is there. Kambe is there in Gujarat. Goa, Cochin, Mangalore, Masuli, Patnam, where uh, were some of the, even today also, right, of the port towns of medieval India. And what they were trading, which kind of business they were doing? Silk, diamonds, spices, spices of Kerala is famous all over the world, right. Precious gems, oils, right, coconut, etc. were the products of of exports right horses were important we brought we brought horses you know india horses are brought to india right? imported from arabia through the port of gujarat goa Kalik, and cochin ports were used for import of iron wax gold and wool right now trade with southeast asia was carried from south southern ports now about founded towns means the towns which was which were founded by anyone right during the sultanate period a number of um, cities were were founded like Ahmedabad by Sultan Ahmed Shah, right? Murshidabad by Murshid Kuli Khan, and Tughlaqabad by Tughlaqs. Akbar built Fatehpur Sikri, right? Apart this, uh, Shah Jahanabad by Shah Jahan, and one more was there, Faridabad by Baba Farid. Right, students. These were the different kinds of cities, different kinds of towns. And in next video, I will tell you about Hampi. Hampi is there in your in this chapter. Masuli Patnam is there. Surat is there. A study is there. Right. I will tell you about those. Okay. Stay home. Stay safe. Bye.